once you can put your undivided attention on anything that you do, man, you, you'll see the fruits of your labor if you're doing everything you're supposed to. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what I did. I saw, I saw things grow considerably. You know, I saw the numbers get higher. You know, I saw people around me come up, start doing exceptionally well. You know, all the people that I was associated with at the time that I was reaching out to, these people were doing exceptionally well. You know, yeah, you could see the fruits of everybody's labor at that particular time. So, yeah, it was real promising at that time. We was called the Somerset Hustlers. We sold drugs. We had AD, was like an enforcer. You couldn't, you know what I mean, get smart with him evil, or he will get you, you know what I mean? Whenever, you know, something went down, you got to deal with it, so I said, but we just got to So you said you sold drugs. What types of drugs did you sell? We sold heroin. George B. was a person like this. He came to it, us one day and said, do y'all want to make some money? And we said yes. So George came to us and we didn't know what it was, what he had or whatever, but next thing I know, he said it was dope. So we said dope. Do y'all want to get down? So we got down. Before you know, it was on. Like popcorn, you hear me? I was born and raised in Somerset Projects, 1965. Who were some of the uh, older the older dudes that lived in Somerset that you kind of looked up to? Oh, George B, Ern Bruce, Greg Parker, He's deceased now. Rest his soul, my big homie. Uh, Ed Clyde, Johnny Mack, Robbo, Charlie Frizz, Ricky King, Kevin Lee. 1981, I believe, I wound up committing the ultimate sin. I got high on my own supply. And once I did that, that was the beginning of my demise. You know, it was all downhill from there. By, by 1982, let's just assume for the sake of argument, it was one year later from the time that I got on it. Yeah, I was all the way out there. And I was doing what every other dope fiend in this town did. Tried to find a way to get high. What I really didn't understand about the people that I wound up assisting was Nobody reached back to try to pull me out of the trap that I had fell into, right? Maybe it was because they really didn't know no better, I'm not certain, you know? But I held a grudge for a lot of, a lot of years, man, as a result of that. Because when I was in a predicament to help whoever it was, man, didn't have to come up with me. All I needed to hear was a very good excuse as to why it is I should help you. And if you gave that, I helped. You know what I'm saying? So when I when I got twisted up the way that I did, I looked for somebody to throw a hand down, a net, a rope, anything to help pull me out of that hole that I had got myself into. And there was nobody. And as a result of that, man, I think I just dove in that much deeper. 